As a parent, this is something we say to our children that learning can be fun during the summer. We hear you, Jason, especially when you're doing experiments with Liz Haneke, the kitchen pantry scientist. She recently Skyped with Heather to show us some experiments from her book's STEAM lab for kids and chemistry for kids. Liz, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Still lots of summer left to do all kinds of experiments with the kiddos, and you have a bunch of them to show us today. What do we have here? Yeah, I have a couple you can do indoors and um, one you can do outside or a couple. So, first of all, I have a fun experiment from my new Chemistry Lab for Kids book. Um, this is an evaporation project. And have you ever set a coffee cup down on a white countertop and then seen the rings that it forms when it dries? I have. Yeah, so this is sort of coffee ring science, but um, it shows kids you just take vinegar and food coloring and mix them together and um, put them on a shallow plate and put them in the oven and let them dry at a low temperature, like 200. And um, they can add a little pinch of corn um, starch to one of the samples too. But what you can see is that this is the same sample. One has corn starch and one doesn't, but depending on the particles that are in the, in the fluid, they, as it dries, the little particles move to the outside and dry around the edges, forming rings. They're, <laughs> they're really beautiful. Uh, but Liz, the mom in me is thinking, oh my gosh, how do you clean those plates afterwards? Oh, dishwasher. There so you go. Just dry it on here. Just I mean, fine. they're super easy to clean. Okay, gotcha. But, we have yeah. a, a, a bristle bot, you're calling it, right there in the middle? Yeah, so this is a really fun, inexpensive engineering project kids can do. And it teaches them to build a simple circuit, and it also teaches them how vibrations can move things. So this is just a little toy motor. You can buy these online for just a couple bucks. But um, if you take one of these toy motors and you put it on to a brush, and then you put a cork on it, it's a spinning motor, you put a cork on it, that throws, makes it unbalanced. So you put it, hook it up to some batteries. You can use alligator clips, which are easier for little kids, mm -hmm. or one of these traditional clips. And the vibrations, can you see that? How fun. Yeah, the vibrations move the little robots around. They're kind of like those hex bugs. Okay. Um, if you don't have um, a brush like this, you can also use toothbrushes and just attach them to something flat <laughs> like a CD. So you just need, once again, the little battery pack the motor, a cork, and some little alligator clips. And let's see, I'm gonna hook this one up. You can make another little robot. This so you is... can see the cork starts, the motor spins, the cork spins, it gets off balance, the vibrations travel down to the bristles, and... It's perfect, I mean, that's one for hours for the kids, and, and uh, so. driving the dog nuts there, too. <laughs> All of the oh my gosh, the dog would go nuts. The dog would attack this balloon. I wanna make sure we get to the balloons. Okay. This is a great one to do outside because if kids like to climb trees, they can tie a string from something on the ground, like a chair, up to a tree. They put straws on the string, so you string a straw, you put the string through a straw, um, you blow up the balloon, and you clip it shut. And I'm going to show you what happens. For every action, there's an opposite, equal and opposite reaction, right? Mm -hmm. So when you take the clamp, I have a string on my kitchen. When you take the clamp, off of the balloon and let the balloon go. Let's see if this works. <laughs> you see that? Yes. One more. <laughs> I could see these all over my house from one end to the other there. That would be great. And, and that's an indoor yeah, or an outdoor one. Them outside. They can do right. it on a tree. But that's a cool, uh, cool um, physics experiment they can do using just a balloon, a straw, and a string. Awesome. Great. Liz Heineke, our kitchen pantry scientist, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.